Alright guys, welcome back. Day 7 of the vlog. Happy one week. We are a week into this thing. Big task today. It's my work from home day today. We're moving this AC unit to the basement. Let's go. Hi, pretty girl. Is it focusing on her? Yeah. Hey, stay away from the back. That's Just full go, of owies. Go inside. <laughs> this is why I didn't go to the gym this morning. I knew I'd be working out. <laughs> so, so you want to put when this you're, in the vlog? When you're <laughs> taking out an AC unit, you want to make sure that you have enough room to take it out of the doorway. That way it's just easy exit, easy entrance. So that's what we really tried to do with our setup today. Um, that way we just knew you know, when we need to take the AC unit out, it'd be really easy for us. So that's what we did. Um, I think it worked really well. I grabbed my shoes. So Reagan decided that she would help out today by filming um, this. Uh, she, I asked her, I said, Reagan, uh, do you want to help me take the AC unit out? And she said, yeah, sure. Of course I help. And I was like, okay, do you want to help like, help me grab this out and carry it downstairs? And she's like, oh, I was going to help with the vlog. So she's helping with the vlog. She's carrying the camera today. Um, so it's really like evenly dispersed work. That's how we like to run our household. It's like really evenly dispersed work. That way both of us aren't carrying too much. Um, I, I definitely don't feel like I'm carrying too much. Let's go downstairs. Oh, also Reagan said she's only going to film me taking it out the door. Because she doesn't... I'm not going down the stairs. The stairs would be a lot. That would yeah. be too much steps for her. So... <laughs> she also said that the doors were a lot of work as well, so I'm just going to grab the doors myself. Okay. Right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. I need my keys. I'm going to get locked out. How do I zoom on this thing? Just grab the lens and zoom. Oh, whoa. <laughs> You're so pretty. Also, I have been seeing on TikTok that you can put liquor in a Brita filter and it takes out the uh, liquor flavor. Uh, so I want to do that, but Reagan thinks it's going to break our Brita filter. I don't think it's going to break the Brita. I think it's going to make it taste bad forever. Also, when I picked up the AC unit, I grabbed it from the razors on the back. And so now I have little tiny cute little cuts in my hand. You're really stealing the star of the show. You're in my shot. Yeah, you're supposed to be filming me. I was <laughs> filming Penny. Hey, we didn't sign a co-host agreement. <laughs> Just give him an update from your end, babe. You got it. You got it. Re Reagan's gonna have you guys under control while I'm gone. I have no thoughts. Head empty. Head empty. Got the AC unit down in the basement. It's in our storage unit now for the winter because it's getting pretty cold and we are not going to be using AC anymore. Today uh, I am working from home. It's the seventh day of the vlog. So happy one week. Happy one week birthday to the vlog. Um, today I'm working from home, just doing some calls, finishing up my shift. And then later today at 6.50, me and Reagan have a movie theater ticket to see... Hey babe, what's the name of that movie we're saying? It's called Don't Worry Darling. We have tickets to see this movie with some like indie singer um, who's a... Uh, <laughs> no one knows who he is. He's no very... Ever super underground. Super underground singer, so I'm maybe <laughs> going to check out some of his music after the movie. But we're seeing the movie Don't Worry Darling, which has been getting super great reviews. Not really, it's been kind of, kind of crappy reviews. So me and Reagan will be doing a movie review at the end of this vlog of Don't Worry Darling. Uh, very unformal, just first impressions. All right, it is 6.40. The movie starts in 10 minutes and we're running late. So we're physically running. You didn't put any of the footage of me being a paddleball master in the vlog. I wasn't recording you. What? You had the camera pointed at me. <gasps> Oh, I totally meant to. I completely forgot and now it's wasted. 
Guys, here's the footage of Reagan being a paddleball master last night. This should be the whole game. This should be what tennis is. I'm sure they heavily considered that. Wait, isn't that like a... Um, what's that game? Paddleball? Nope. You put the ball on the string? Oh, yeah, that is that. I should be a professional paddleballer. I can't believe how long you're doing this. Because <laughs> I'm supposed to be a professional While being filmed, too? That adds pressure. I'm destined to be a paddleballer. Let me get a close-up on your face. Look at the focus, the concentration, <laughs> the endurance. Wait, let's see if I can do the flip like you said. What? This is wild. Oh! I freaking solved it. Are you happy? You forgot about it my was two a.m. talent. It was two in the morning. You forgot. Oh, would you look at that? Two hours later. We ready? Potential for some really good and interesting storytelling. And honestly, you could make a whole universe out of this idea. I think that that was a redeeming quality because it makes, it kind of makes my imagination go. And then I think the other redeeming quality was just how pretty how pretty it was it looked really good it was, it was a very gorgeous. good looking movie yeah i will say with that like redeeming quality like it was a great idea but the reason that i want i like i think it's like a three or like a 2.8 is because it's such a good idea and it was executed it's so, so poorly, poorly executed. for the idea that yeah. it was it could have been such a better movie yeah. without giving any spoilers pretty okay story it's really mid until like the last 20 minutes yeah. so it makes you wait a while like it's really just nailing hammering the same nail over and over and over and over again but i guess you could argue in defense of that that like it's kind of representing like what it's like to be abused because it is like a never-ending feeling so it's i guess it just depends on how you want to look at it um, but I thought it got kind of boring. Yeah, I think they definitely <laughs> took way too long to establish yeah. that she, they were trying to like make her feel crazy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Pretty much happens for like an hour and a half of this two hour long movie. And I'm just like, okay, I yeah. feel like there should have been more backstory. There needs to be more. Just for the, the way the plot twists the the storyline should have been set up differently there's here's the thing there's a great plot twist mm -hmm. if you go see this movie and you like plot twists you might like it just for the plot twist it's pretty great you're gonna need to put a huge like spoiler alert yeah <laughs> i mean we're not giving any key details away there's a no, i mean I know, most movies but... have plot twists it's a good plot twist but there's like not much details after the plot twists mm -hmm. it kind of just twists it leaves, and you, then it leaves it you wanting so much so much more, more. but the, at the same time i don't want a sequel I want, a, the, I want a prequel at the very yeah i'd be down for a prequel but I, at the very same time i like yeah. i want to know good leaving it i can bury it i really want to know how this whole universe started like i just want to know how yeah. how we got to where we are in the timeline we see in Don't Worry Darling. Yeah, exactly. A prequel, prequel could be, be good. good. Yeah. But I just feel like even that, I'm like, it would... I don't know. Anyway, Don't Worry Darling. I would want it to be done in, if it if Also, it made a Harry prequel, Styles. I thought he did a good job. I definitely thought it would give me the ick to see Harry Styles acting, but I thought he did a good job. I think they could have picked someone else. It has officially been one week of the vlog every day um and i just want to say thank you guys for uh sticking around if you're watching um again i just want to reiterate on the video i made a week ago now um that i'm kind of just doing these videos um to record my life for a month and just be able to look back on that um i'm really enjoying it so far i feel like the vlog has kind of made me look at my life and kind of enjoy the moments that I'm living a lot more than I 
was kind of months prior to starting this. So I feel like it's been really beneficial for me, not only on like a mental state level, but also like a life enjoyment level, you know? I've kind of like found new purpose in my everyday life just to record it and like get my thoughts out. Um, and I feel like I've been talking and kind of thinking things over a lot more just in the ways of like how I want to structure these videos, how I want to communicate with the audience, which might just be myself. I think it's been very nice. So I've really enjoyed this past week uh, and I look forward to the next three weeks of doing this. And uh, I'm really excited to see uh, how this next week turns out. I know we have um, a few more trips in these 30 days and I really enjoyed vlogging the weekend. Um, filming Jordan and Ellie's wedding. That was one of my favorite days so far. Putting those three days together in one video was really cool. I really do enjoy the everyday video editing, video production process though. It kind of gives me something to do every night. Um, it has been keeping me up a bit too late. I've tended to stay up until around 1.30 or 2 every single night just making sure these vlogs are edited. I just recently started to put a color grade on these videos. You might have noticed they look a bit flat or just like gray in the beginning just because I was kind of just putting them out like what my camera records and not not putting too much thought into how they look because again they're kind of just like I'm throwing them out there I'm not putting too much thought into them but I just put a color grade on my last episode and I really like how it looks compared to the other ones I do really want to continue color grading these videos just because with the new camera I think a color grade just makes the footage look so much better um, but I if I get lazy or if it's too late when I'm editing one of these you might see another um, flat or gray looking video um, just because I might not have had time to throw a, a color grade onto it. So anyway, I have just wanted to say I appreciate the way that I've kind of been structuring my life around these videos. Reagan's been enjoying it as well. I know sometimes she might get a little annoyed with how much I'm really pressing myself to put these out every day. It's just because I kind of want to hold myself accountable to be like, I set this goal of 30 days, I want to make sure I, I meet that 30 day goal. So without further ado, I'm going to say goodnight. I apologize there wasn't a bunch of b-roll or anything like that today. I was kind of just chilling around the house and then we went out to a movie so it wasn't super um, eventful but I still uh, had a great day today and I am excited to get to it tomorrow. Peace.